Hey everybody, it's me, Sandy. And you know, have you ever considered that you can change your life with your thoughts? And so I'm here to say, yes, you can. So on Tuesday night, I had the sheer pleasure of introducing a quartet of incredible women healers, wellness experts, holistic practitioners on my radio show, uh, Truthful Tuesdays, Life, Love, and Wellness, The Sandy Rogers Show. And so the four of us had a chance to just really kind of delve into a lot of different aspects of uh, what holistic healing truly looks like. And I was able to apply it in less than 12 hours because on Wednesday, yesterday, I was making a trip to Las Vegas to be a part of the Water of Life Symposium. Uh, this is the fourth year. Uh, we'll get back to that, though. Um, and so I had a friend of mine, Vera Thomas, thank you so much, who came to take me to the airport. Her car ran hot. Um, we were maybe halfway to the airport. We got off the interstate and uh, got to a gas station, uh, got some antifreeze, put it in, uh, filled up the reservoir. We thought that was it. Got back on the interstate and voila, that was not it. <laughs> so uh, Vera wanted to pull over on the, on the highway and I was like, no, no, let's, let's pull off. I, I don't like that, you know, personally. So anyway, make a long story short, uh, when we pulled off on the second uh, off ramp, there was a gentleman there that was so gracious to help us um, in getting the cap off of the radiator so that we would uh, be able to put the antifreeze in that. And that sucker was almost dry. So I'm thankful. Um, but as we sat there before this man came over, I said a prayer. Uh, one of my team members reminded me on Tuesday about prayer and meditation. So I took that opportunity to, to say that out into the universe. And of course, we were blessed, right? Because <laughs> that's what the universe does. And so we were able to, uh, to go on to the airport from there. And what I was extremely happy about was that uh, the little mishap with her car happened while I was with her. And that uh, meant a lot to me. Because uh, I would hate to have for her to have been out on a job and uh, her car ran hot like that. So that was the first thing. And I counted a blessing. And the second um, was that at the airport. Uh, now, you know, people have various reactions to this uh, lockdown quarantine restriction. And it seems that a lot of people have issues with... Uh, Hmm. not responding in a positive way. And so at the airport in Atlanta, there's a maze that's going on. And I was just tickled. And so I was laughing the whole way. And uh, I had sent a text to my son. And I was like, man, I said, shoot, I walked 10,000 steps just to get from where I dropped off my <laughs> luggage <laughs> to get up to the security checkpoint. It was really funny. But not everybody was happy. And uh, I was trying to make jokes in the line and, you know, people are not keeping their uh, six feet because folks are trying to, to make it to their flights. Right. So we get up to um, the gate and this lady, bless her heart, was taking her job so serious. I mean, she was just angry that people wouldn't step on <laughs> wouldn't stay on the little yellow dots on the floor. And so to me, you know, seriously, it, it's, it's just, it's just life, you know, and, and people got to do what they got to do. But, uh, in taking it light and, uh, not being so, uh, concerned about, uh, the strictness, uh, the restrictions, um, not being able to be up close on people and things like that. It was really cool, you know? And so I had the intention uh, which was set on Tuesday night on the radio program that I would fast from negativity and feast on love. And that's what I did. So even when I boarded the plane and the lady uh, of the role that I got into, she was on the aisle 
And uh, she didn't want to speak, but I spoke to her. And uh, after I sat down, it was like she heard me. Duh. <laughs> and she was like, oh, good morning. And so uh, I don't know if she thought she was going to have that whole role to herself or not. But it was funny to me. And you could take your mask off when you eat, right? So I had prepared me a little snack, avocado with some uh, olives little seasoning of sea salt and cayenne pepper and a little lemon juice just to keep from it turning brown. And so, man, I took advantage of that when they told me that I didn't have to wear my mask <laughs> while I was eating. And I probably ate that little bit of uh, avocado and olives for an hour. So look, it's all about how you look at life. I want you to join us for a lot of different topics that's going to be shared. Um, I actually had the opportunity to talk with a couple of the women that listen to the radio show on Tuesday as we uh, introduce the program to the world. So take a look at that, uh, blogtalkradio.com slash Sandy Rogers, S-A-N-D-Y-R-O-D-G-E-R-S. And then sign up to get notice uh for the registration opening for Sisters Speak Wellness and Healing. I think I got that backwards. <laughs> I'm just excited because we're doing some really wonderful work. It's Sisters Speak Healing and Wellness. And so for the link um, to be able to go on and submit your name and receive a free gift that is really an awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, go to bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash sisters speak healing. And you'll be able to, to submit your name and your email. You'll get notice when the early bird registration uh, starts. And also you'll get a free gift. So I look forward to seeing you on the webinar coming next month. And uh, we'll be posting more videos and giving you a little bit more tips. But for right now, remember to fast from negativity and feast on love, peace, and harmony. I love you guys.